This is an inequality, so it's not going to have a single solution, but we want to find all values of x which make this true. So I'm going to get the absolute value part alone by dividing both sides by 6. On the left it cancels, and on the right that's going to give me 42 divided by 6, which is 7. Now that we have the absolute value part by itself, let's think about what that means. Whatever is in the absolute value, in order for it to be greater than 7, this thing, this whole thing, has to be greater than 7, or, alternatively, this whole thing has to be less than negative 7. Because, for example, if you were to take the absolute value of negative 8, that would be positive 8, which is greater than 7. So here are the two cases. x plus 3 is greater than 7, or it's less than negative 7. Now, both of these are easy to uh, solve inequalities. And if we subtract 3 from both sides of the first, we see part of the solution set is x greater than 7 minus 3, or x greater than 4. So it's going to be true when x is greater than 4. Likewise, on the other inequality, the 3's cancel, and the other possibility is x is less than negative 7 minus 3, which is negative 10. So anything which is either bigger than 4 or less than negative 10 is going to solve our original inequality. If we want to represent this on the number line, that means that anything that's to the right of 4 or anything that's to the left or less than negative 10 is a possible solution. I leave uh, them open because that rep because this is a strict less than or greater than, meaning that the negative 10 itself is not a solution, but as this line represents anything less than or to the left of it is, and anything to the right of or greater than 4 is a solution. Hope that helped. Thank you.